Hey everyone, I'm Chris from Champion Helmets and today I have with me the Shark Tooth Prime. This is the newest headset from Shark for their Shark Helmets. And I'm going to break this up into two parts. First of all, I'm going to give you a review of the intercom set itself and I'm going to show you how to use it. And in the second part, I'm going to give you a how-to guide on installing the system in this Shark Evo 1 2. So now if we go through everything, we have here the most important part. That's your battery and Bluetooth uh, pack. Here we have the charging cable. It's going to connect to this uh, mini USB and then a normal USB. Then we have the two speakers, the connection port for the microphone, and then here we have the control panel. So it's uh, quite straightforward and quite standard, really. We have the manual here and just the box, and there's a few uh, spares in the box, like these are speaker covers. You get a spare of that as well. So it's quite nice. So if you look at the pros and cons, we're going to notice it has a few distinct features that can really uh, affect your choice when looking at uh, getting this intercom set. In terms of pros, it uh, is voice activated, waterproof, uh, noise cancelling. Uh, it's quite loud. I tested that uh, myself and almost blew out an eardrum. Uh, it's got a decent battery life. From two hours of charging, you'll get seven hours of talking time and about five days of standby. You know, if you use it, you'll obviously get less. Uh, but it's quite decent in terms of battery life. Furthermore, it's uh, compatible with third-party intercoms, which is a great feature. But that's only if they have the universal intercom feature. But that's becoming more and more popular now, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, but if you do have any issues, just make sure that you're connecting via that method uh, feature. In terms of cons, it doesn't support radio. Uh, but if you can play the radio over your phone uh, via Bluetooth, then that's fine. But yeah, so standard, you can't just click on a radio button or something like that. The biggest con though is going to be the lack of range. It only has 200 meters of range, up to 200 meters even. So it's not great. It's quite small. Uh, if you subtract the real world tax, it might even be 150 meters. It's not great. So something like the Superth uh, SC1 standard can give you almost a kilometer, uh, but the trade-off there is the cost. So with the Shark Tooth Prime, it's kind of following Shark's uh, focus upon value. It's a cheaper headset, and if you get it as part of the Champion Helmets uh, bundle deal with the Shark Evo 1 2, it's going to be even cheaper, so it's going to really drive up your value uh, for this set. So it's not going to be the most expensive set, but it's not going to be the best set. You know, just like the Shark Evo 1 2 is not the best helmet, but it's then again not the most expensive helmet. It's been designed for value. So that's a kind of explanation there. Okay, so now if I show you how to use the system, uh, it's quite easy, um, as I'm sure you'll notice. So everything is controlled via these two buttons, and we have the plus and a minus. So to turn it on, we're going to just hold down on both of them at the same time. So you get the power on message and then we get a yeah, a battery reading, which is quite handy. And to turn it off, we just do the same again, press down on both. Power off. And we get a power off message. So it's quite handy. It's a nice, uh, nice little feature. And also the two buttons here are quite easy to use. They're quite big, so even with the gloved hand, that won't be a problem for you. Uh, I would recommend reading the manual because there's a few things I'm not going to go into, like uh, pairing it to a phone or a GPS or another intercom system, and that's all explained in here, and it's quite easy to read. That shouldn't be a problem for anyone, really. And then if we go back to the controller, to answer a phone call, we're just going to tap once on the plus. To decline a phone call, we're going to hold it down for three seconds, though. Uh, so watch out for that. You don't want to accidentally uh, decline an important phone call when you're riding. To turn on the intercom system, we're going to press the minus once, and then we're going to press it again to turn it off. And then we can skip songs uh, by double pressing on each. It's quite a simple system. Yeah, I really recommend reading through the booklet. So what we're going to do is first take off the uh, inner lining. And it's also not very hard to do this. At least the cheek pads are the easiest. They're just on clips. You just kind of pull them off and then the vel Velcro. And then you just kind of 
pull th through like that. Easy. Same on the other side. Just pull through. And to put in the shark tooth system, you don't have to take the entire lining off. Um, I'm going to because it's going to be easier for me to show you guys. But if you don't want to, you can leave these inserted. Just remember that. But you know, it might be easier for you to take them out. So to do this, we're going to kind of pull down and in to pop out the tab. Same on the other side. And then it's all going to just pull out. It's going to take a little bit of force, uh, but that's OK. Oops. And then here, we have it on the front, so we're going to pull it from either side. I'll just snap it out. Snap it out. And then we're going to go along and snap out each one individually, or all, all at once. Uh, and they're meant to snap out. That's not a bad sound. Don't be scared about that. And then here we are. And you notice that on either side, there are these inserts with Velcro. And that is where you're going to put your speakers and your microphone. OK, and also, it's a bit difficult to see here, but there's a well in there, and that's where you're going to put that Bluetooth battery pack. I'm going to take this battery pack, and so what you're going to want to do is have it facing away from you, if you have it in this position. And it's going to just slide in as deep as you can into that little insert. And remember, you will want this cord, this cord, this cord, and this cord. So first, actually, what I'm going to do is connect the microphone. So this just connects very easily like that. Lovely. And then, yeah, so I'll push it all back down in again. As deep as you can. And then I'm going to connect the earphones. So just take off that kind of Velcro protector. And then this is going to be a little bit tricky to see. Just kind of connect it onto that Velcro. It's quite simple. Then make sure you kind of hide that cord a little bit. Push it all up and out of the way. So it looks something like that. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. Little protector off. Push it in there, connect it nicely, and make sure to hide that cord. And you won't be able to hide it perfectly, um, but you know. So you should make sure that these earphones kind of line up with your with your ears. So maybe put the helmet on at this point just to kind of get a uh, feeling for how it's going. And now we're going to put in the microphone. Another little Velcro tab there. Sorry, protector, so just take that off. Then on your left hand side, we're going to pop it in. And then don't forget that you have this little cord, so you're gonna that's your charging cord that plugs into that and then you can charge it. So just kind of hide that for the moment. And make sure you can access it later. Otherwise, every time you charge, you're going to have to take off all the liners. Oops. That one's not being done very well. So that's that. Now, we're going to put it all back together. Yep. So I'm Chris from Champion Helmets, and this has been our review of the Shark Tooth Prime intercom system and also our installation guide for the Shark Evo 1 too. 
So I hope you guys found it pretty useful. If you did, then uh, like and subscribe uh, to keep up to date with the channel and leave a comment down below if you have any tips or anything like that. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.